Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to get a perfect even cut crease every time. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications button. I was going to say video for more videos like this one. So I'm just going to jump on into it. I'm priming my eyes. I personally always use concealer to prime my eyes because I have veins on my lids that a lot of times primers just don't conceal for me. Um, so after I go ahead and conceal or prime my eyes, I'm just setting that concealer with a translucent powder. This one is from Ben Nye. It's their no color powder. And this video isn't so much um, about the colors I'm using, more the technique. So just to fill you guys in, right now I'm using Latte from Makeup Geek as my transition color. This shade right here is Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. Geek. That's interesting. Makeup Geek. Um, and I am just washing that into my crease with a more defined brush. And I am keeping this darker shade a little bit lower than Latte to create a nice blended gradient effect. Generally, um, with a cut crease, you want a high contrast, so a dark color right up against a light color on your lid. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of what I'm doing. I'm working my way down to black. So right now I'm going in with a dark brown. I think I'm using one from the Jaclyn Hill palette that she did with Morphe. And again, I'm just blending that out with Coco Bear, making sure there are no harsh lines. And I think most of the brushes I've used so far are from Morphe. I'll have them linked down below. So I'm using the Urban Decay Distortion palette, which has some really pretty shades in it. And I'm using the black shade in the palette. Like I said, I'm working my way down to black. And I also plan on doing a half cut crease. I don't know why I'm just obsessed with those. So what I'm doing is I'm also putting that black on my outer corner and I'm just blending it up and out into my crease. It can be really hard to work with black. So that's why I went in with a lot of brown before this. So onto the cut crease, it's super easy. You guys are gonna die. I'm just taking a little bit of concealer on a small brush and you can do three dots. I prefer just to do a line of concealer right above my lashes. And then what I'm going to do is just look up so I leave a nice line, a perfect straight line, and all I have to do is just fill in that little inner corner part. And that is pretty much it. It's so simple. So all you have to do after that is literally just fill in your lid and block it out for your lid shade. Um, and then another little tip I have if you're doing a half cut crease is once you get everything blended out, not, or at least dragged out to as far as you need the concealer, just go over with your finger real quick to blend it out. That'll make for a really seamless transition with your outer, outer, outer shade, which for me is black. So I'm using this really pretty pale blue purple iridescent shade to fill in my lid. And I'm just using a small Real Techniques detailer brush to get right up tight in there. So one more time, I'm just going to show you this again. And that is how you do it. So once I get that filled in with that first shade, I'm going in with the cobalt blue shade in the palette just to blend those two colors together a little bit better. And then since I'm here, I'll just kind of show you me finishing up my eye. I'm going to do a little bit of a winged liner, add a little bit more black eyeshadow, and then I'm also going to be tight lining um, with the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. It's so good for this. I love that eyeliner. Um, that just helps to fill in any gaps and make my lashes, my natural lashes, look a little bit thicker. So it's a really nice technique. And then I'm also using a mascara from Urban Decay. And then I finished my makeup off camera. I'll probably put a little video of that up on Instagram, so look out for it. But this is the finished look. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it helps you guys. And that's pretty much all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.